welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video welcome if you are new it is sunday i have just got back from being at my dad's house and we just need to do all those reset things like the washing so i thought i would fold washing and catch you up so we've been at home this weekend for my i guess stepmother's birthday so we had like a little family barbecue had all the siblings step siblings and respective partners over there were like 14 of us it was actually really quite sweet and then we went and met with all the estate agents so if you've not seen the video before this we kind of had to pull out of our house purchase because some information about the house wasn't passed to us before we put the offer in which should have been complicated we had to pull out so we have been looking at obviously other houses we did one viewing on friday which was a bit of a bust if i'm honest it wasn't great but we've got five viewings now booked for next friday and yeah that's we spent a lot of time this weekend traipsing around different estate agents to get some viewings booked because the estate agent we previously used well she's not using them again so yeah that was what we spent the weekend doing and then it was the birthday and then because there were some problems with the trains we actually we actually got a lift into london with my brother who works in queen's park on a sunday so got a little lift in with him so that we didn't have to rely on the trains but it means we're actually home a lot earlier than originally planned so we've basically got the full day because it's about half 10 and we've just got back so i go back to work tomorrow after a week off and there's all those things that you know why you're on your leave you kind of ignore so i've got a whole day today of getting my life back on track ready for next week i don't think i'll be back to my normal routine because then alex's parents are in town next week is not the week to get back into a normal routine but i obviously do need to get some stuff back in order so that i can go to work on monday with all my stuff so the first point of call is to put away this washing i think we're then actually caught up because i did loads of washing during the week that's my sock and then i need to all the plants look particularly parched so they need a water the flat needs a quick clean i need to do some bits and bobs on the computer which i know is not that interesting i need to clean my makeup brushes i need to take some bags of things to one two bags need to go to the charity shop and then two bags need to go to the recycling points in boots or super jug because they're like hard to recycle plastic and then i'm sure there's some other stuff that i've can't think of right now but yeah it's gonna be a full-on reset day i've put loads of hair oil on my hair again so my hair is full of oil just like sitting there and then i'll have a nice full reset shower slash bath this evening and yeah there's a whole lot of things we just need to do to get ready for going back to work next week after a week off i think that's everything caught up with i think that's everything i needed to say to you and uh let's get cracking with a it's like a weekly reset but it's like a reset after a period off so yeah i hope you guys enjoy and um, if you do obviously subscribe and let's get cracking <laughs> remember exactly when the last time I spoke to you was but I'm gonna set out on the balcony with my book so I'm currently reading Heartless by Marissa Mayer started it this morning on page 124 actually really enjoying it it's very similar to like Stephanie Garber's style writing if you love those I then got squash the leftover wine from earlier in the week 
and then here's a leftover caramel shortcake mini bite that we picked up on the way back to London this morning. And yeah, got myself a little set up, ready in case Alex wants to come out. The flowers are, are blooming, kind of all sides of the balcony. Freaking love this little chair and table setup. So it was from Amazon like three years ago. If it's still sold, I will link it down below, but they just like tuck under. You've got a proper dining table, but also two chairs and then also two stools. So yeah, we're gonna chill out here. to like talk about for a while but I've never quite known how to talk about it and I think I whether I want to admit it or not and whether I want to actually say this out loud given that I have and continue to receive PR from it I have completely and utterly fallen out of love with Instagram like next level out of love and you can probably quite clearly tell I'm really loving YouTube. And I think I love it because I enjoy the content that I'm making, regardless of whether it gets seen or not. It's also relatively private. My Instagram is followed by people that I know, work with, etc. So it's like, I can't do a huge amount on there without being sort of judged for it. So I find the pressure of Instagram significantly more than the pressure of YouTube and I just I'm really struggling with it and I really don't know what to do on that platform I'm trying to work out I mean I've lost followers on there for absolute ever and my stats on there are like so bad and my stats on here are not great but my stats on Instagram are like bad <laughs> and I think it's because it doesn't take a genius to tell I've completely utterly fallen out of love with it and part of me wants to be a bit random on there on the same way I am here but then everyone always says you need a niche on Instagram to grow but then maybe it's not about growing because clearly what I'm doing now isn't working anyway so I can't work out if I kind of re-jig Instagram to be more about my life in the same way YouTube is and then I might enjoy it more and I might do it more because then it can be fashion and books and makeup and skincare and my life and eventually when we buy the house it can be about the house and it might just feel a bit more true to myself but it's such a departure from the kind of content I post on there and every time I post not makeup stuff on there it flops even more and the only stuff that actually is doing any any particular way on there at the moment is the close-up makeup stuff. I just can't work out if I lean into it and just make it almost like a faceless makeup account, whether I create a new account. Thanks for coming to my rambles. I just wanted to like talk it through. I wanted to chat about it. I don't really know what I'm gonna do as of this particular moment in time, but if I do create a new Instagram, I will let you know. But in the meantime we shall see anyway i will chat to you guys in a bit <laughs> so on a slightly different note i am now gonna have a bath as i mentioned earlier i put all this like stuff in my hair to eventually well that was close to eventually wash it and have a really nice reset it's been like a really hot sticky couple of days and because i had to leave the house quite early this morning i actually haven't showered today and i feel really gross and i'm going to use the imperial leather moisturizing bath soap which is cotton flower and vanilla orchard is it orchard oh no orchid sorry it sounds delightful i've actually not tried the imperial leather bath soaps before so I don't know how bubbly they are, but I'm gonna pop some of this in. Then I'm gonna go and get a hair mask and a face mask. I've got my little razor here, although I do think I need to change the head on it. Also, look at this tan line from my watch. <laughs> so I normally wear an Apple watch and I wear it every single day. And I have the most hilarious tan line. Like look how obvious that is. I remember when I got married, I had a very similar tan line because it was the end of the summer. And I fully intended not to wear a watch at my wedding, but it looked ridiculous. So I ended up wearing one. But that is how pale I am normally. So let me, let's go pick the face mask, shall we? So 
a lot of my skincare is stored in the wardrobe just because that's how this flat kind of panned out <laughs> but my hair masks are in here i think i might use this which is the olaplex hair perfector this is just like a hair mask right oh apply on damp tired hair that's a styling thing i can get in there i might use this this is the Garnier hair food hair mask, which I think is only one use left on that. So that would be that one finished as well. And then face masks are in the back of here. And I'm going to use the Dr. Levy R3 Cell Matrix mask, which is to restore, replenish and restructure. So yeah, they're my two little products. I'm going to get those in the bath, get the bath going. And it'll be a lovely, relaxing half an hour. I have showered, if you cannot tell. <laughs> well, actually, I bought, I bathed. I, I didn't shower, I bathed. But I've washed my hair, I've dried my hair, I've got redressed. I feel so fresh. I've got that, like, slightly sticky feeling from when I've put body oil on and it hasn't quite sunken in yet. But I feel so much better. It is now five o'clock, so I think I'm going to make a cup of tea and then probably take the tea out onto the balcony and keep and keep reading so yeah i'm feeling pretty fantastic i'm not gonna lie obviously at the moment i feel like my emotions are all over the place because my life plan is all over the place because the house we're supposed to be buying fell through and so we don't really have a plan and therefore this is just how i am when i have no plan but yeah i'm washed and i'm gonna make a cup of tea look how stunning these carnations are got them from waitrose a week ago and they're just opening and they are so pretty anyway i came here to make tea just dropped my iPad on the floor <clears throat> anyway it is now a fair bit later we ended up getting Domino's for dinner you know when you just reach a point where Domino's is the only answer <clears throat> that's the point we reached but it is now a fair bit later I am caught up in bed we have if you've watched the video before this you'll know i think i might have mentioned it earlier in this video but we had an offer accepted on the house we kind of had our hands tied and the offer fell through so we are obviously now looking at houses again and should give you a little sneak peek at this house we're gonna go and look at look at that kitchen isn't she beautiful yeah, we're looking at five houses on Friday and I'm so freaking excited and I think that'll be the next video that I film because um, I've got a busy week. <laughs> but I am now tucked up. Ew, well, I'm not tucked up in bed, I'm laying on the bed. I got quite a long way through Heartless, so I got to page 297. If you enjoy Stephanie Garber's writing slash worlds slash books you'll really actually enjoy this it's a very very similar type of story and writing i mean i've only read her caravel series not her um once upon a broken heart series but it's a very similar vibe kind of like magical like a very made up world but there's kind of some magic but most people are just like quite normal and this is about the queen of hearts from alice's adventures underground I can never remember what that book is called because I've worked on so many shows based off the book that the shows aren't called the same thing as the book and therefore I forget which one's the show and which one's the book. It's a very niche problem. But yeah, it's it's kind of her before that point. So you watch her like fall in love. You watch, basically she is a daughter of, I don't know what they're called. They're like sort of like dukes, but they've got a different title, but like a, um, a well-respected family and the king the king of hearts is like courting her and her parents really really want her to marry the king of hearts but she is in love with someone else and it's just like really freaking cute and she also wants to be a baker so you just like watch her wrestle with that and it's so freaking cute and there's like 
sorry the tv's just gone blue and there's like monsters i forget what that monster is that keeps appearing jabber jabberwock i think it was a jabberwock analysis adventure underground but um and it's quite funny they keep mentioning things that obviously you see in the alice book that like obviously they're like almost like teeing up it's almost a little bit like a prequel but yeah i'm actually really really enjoying this anyway i've now just been chatting about our book for absolutely ever one of very many houses we are seeing next friday which i am so excited about we've got five viewings i think two of them we are like in love with two of them we're hopeful about and one of them we're a bit like is it worth going at all <laughs> But we learn something with every house thing we do. So even that one we're not quite sure about, we still think it might be worth doing it as we're there and we're with the estate agent anyway. So yeah, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, it is now, I think it's only like nine o'clock, but I'm really tired. I've had a week off work and tomorrow it will be my first day back after a week off. So it will be a long time to catch up. It also didn't sleep very well last night. So I'm quite tired. So I'm gonna just like lay in bed watching youtube and then hopefully i can wake up in the morning feeling super fresh but yeah i don't today was a bit of a weird day it was quite a i don't want to say nothing day because that's really mean but it felt a little bit like a nothing day but regardless i hope you guys enjoyed i think i got some errands done i relaxed did a bit of resetting it's just one of those days you know but i really hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless if you did give it a thumbs up click subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!